feel how ready we are to play. Isn't that something? There's only one Georgia team playing tonight. And this Georgia team is going to be seen by everybody else. Last year, USC rolled to an easy win at the Coliseum over Ohio State, but now make their first trip to Columbus in those 19 years. Both of these two teams are still trying to figure out, even after opening week wins, just what kind of teams they have. we got to be physical. Hey, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It starts right here. You don't got to change nothing that you've done except tackle. Let's go. Be physical on three. One, two, three. Be physical. Let's go. What a great atmosphere and a great night for college football. They've been waiting all day, all year, in terms of Ohio State and USC to get back at each other on the gridiron. Let's go. Hey, this is what we've been waiting for. It's time. Can you move this thing? It's time to go three. One, two, three. Go, guys. This is what we do, baby. This is what we do. Yeah, the big dog's out tonight. Yeah, and we going to eat. We go eat! We starve it, baby! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Same play as the first play. Drops the pass. Intercepted. At the 50-yard line. Going the other way. Go for the 40. 35. He's got a blocker. Turn him with the 25. Down to the 20. Inside the 15. Still on her feet to the 5. Down towards the goal line. He's out of bounds. At the 3-yard line. Chris Galippo with the interception. And the Trojans with a first and goal at the 3. How do you do? I mean, that, was, that was a big-time play. You know, I think it was our first drive or something like that. And and uh, just kind of anticipated it the whole time. They lined up in a formation that we kind of been kind of been uh, anticipating and, and, and talking about uh, all week. And, and, and when they did, you know, I kind of knew exactly what was going on. So. It's fourth and goal with the one and a half. Barkley with Stephon Johnson, the one back behind him. Twin receivers to the right. Up under center, long count, brings a man in motion. Handoff, Johnson up the middle. He's in the end zone. It's a touchdown, USC. He is in the end zone, and he is going to score. Well, that was a great job by the Trojan offensive line that time. Almost in the backfield, really. He's going to take a swing pass try. Instead, they'll throw to the open man at the 45. This could be a touchdown. Down to the Trojan 20, 15, 10, 5. And inside the 5 to about the 3-yard line is Dane Sonsenbacher. Second and goal at the 2-yard line. Again, it's Heron down towards the goal line. I think he's in. And there's no signal yet, but it sure looked like he had crossed the plane. Touchdown, Five. Ohio State. Third and goal at the half-yard line. They're going to go to Heron again. Yeah, they do. Left side. He gets stopped. Front back. They're trying to push the pile forward. Well, they'll push it back the other way. It'll be fourth down. And well, now, if Trojans went forward, would have gone forward on fourth down. And uh, see what happens here. More points to get. Better chance you have to win, huh? That's the fact. Aaron Petrie puts it through the uprights. He's four for four this year. And Ohio State takes the lead. First 10 at the 20. Only 48 seconds left. No timeouts remaining for FC. See if they can, or want to, try to get it into field goal position. Instead, a run up the middle, right side. Now it's at the 30, up the sideline to the 40, 45. Yeah, now they're going to get close to field goal position if they get another play like that. 26 seconds left. FC set. Barkley waits, throws, slant in, complete 30-yard line. And inside the 25 to the 23-yard line is Damian Williams. 17 seconds left in the half. After the Ohio State timeout, they have one left. Trojans don't have any. Barkley drops the pass. Has all day. Throwing to the end zone. It's complete. Down inside the five. Field goal from the left hash mark. Jordan Condon hit the crossbar from 44. This one much closer. Lines are set. The kick is away. It's up. And it's through. And we've come to the end of the first half here in Columbus, Ohio. And nobody's happy. It's Ohio State 10 and USC 10. 
This is the Trojan Football Radio Network. Let's know exactly what's going on. As we always talk about, half time, nothing, nothing. That's the same stuff we always talk about. So we come out and play. But let's understand this. You can't win this game in the first quarter. We don't know. Oh, you, can't, oh, you can't win it this way. No. no. It's going to take a little bit to get this done just because it's this is a pretty nice football game. But here's the deal. I want you to be patient. Do it right. Play after play after play. Oh, let's play. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get right. 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 Let's Billy O'Malley kicking with the wind at his back. High snap through the back of the end zone. It's a safety. The Buckeyes lead 12 to 10. A high snap. Nothing more than an extra point, really, out of the hold of John Toma. Snap a little high. The place down. The kick is away, and it's good. That's a good job by the Trojan defense holding the three there. Fryer with a handoff, and it'll get maybe a yard to the 21-yard line, and that's it, and that brings us to the end of the third. Fourth quarter still to come. After three, Ohio State 15, USC 10 on the Trojan radio network. Handoff wow. and a big stick right up the middle by Jarrell Casey. Hat on, hat on. Dan Heron just blows him up for a two-yard <laughs> loss from the 32 and a half. Pryor takes the snap, wants to run, gets hit, sack. Everson Griffin with the sack back at the 36. 7-15 left, 15-10. Ohio State by five. Trojans have the ball again. Play action. Barkley has time, gets hit, gets sacked now. Back at the eight-yard line. They came in a hurry. Trojans need any kind of big play, any kind of play at all right now. Handoff. Breakaway, McKnight to the 10, 15, out to the 16. Barkley in the shotgun, has the ball, throws it over the middle, it's complete to McKnight, 25, out to the 30, gets hit hard at the 35, and works his way out to the 37-yard line. So the Trojans live to talk about it a little bit longer. Up very left, Williams up to the right side, Barkley back to pass, throws over the middle, McCoy's wide open, makes the catch, gets inside the 40-yard line, down to the Ohio State 38-yard line with 3.38 remaining in the ballgame. A 15-10 Ohio State lead and a fourth and a half a yard to go for the Trojans at the Ohio State 27 and a half yard line. They stack the line and crowd in. He takes the ball, sneaks forward. He's got the first down to the 26 and a half yard line. Needed a foot, got a yard. Second down and six Trojans. Hand off McKnight, cuts it back to the right at the 20. Inside the 15, down to about the 14 and a half. That's enough for a USC first down. And Joe McKnight behind up under center Matt Barkley. Hand off McKnight, skips his way to the 10, drags the pile down to the five-yard line. I, I think I had a pretty good game uh, with being physical, not trying to get to the outside, and not trying to score every time. So it was a pretty good game for me. The offensive line, open holes for me. Stanley Avili slotted on the right side. Anthony McCoy slotted on the left. And it's a sneak for Barkley, who gets inside the five to the three-yard line. Clock stops to move the chains with 111 remaining in the game. First and goal at the two and a half. Motion for Damian Williams. Handoff. It's Stephon Johnson. He will walk into the end zone on the right side. Touchdown, USC! Wow. That is amazing. What a fantastic drive by the Trojans. And... They should go for two here. Got to go for two. 16-15, 17-15, all the same. Got to go for two. 15 gives you at least a field goal pad. You know, Joe put in the work, and it was just Coach Carroll called my number, and was, I knew it was time for me to, 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 to punch it in. You know, I couldn't let, let him down. It was my turn to, to do my job, and, and I had to do it. I mean, you got to go with the mindset that you're going to score or else it's not going to happen. That's why I believe in it. I believe in the play calling, and uh, and when, when, when we punch it in, um, it feels good to hear that sound. Barkley, wait, throws, McKnight behind the pick, dives into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good, and the Trojans lead by three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finish this off. Finish it. Fryer with Heron off to his left. Ballard the tight end, strong on the right side. Sonsenbacher and Posey off to the left. In trouble, throwing one up in the air. Could be intercepted. It's out of bounds. Fryer just threw it up in the air. He might have a flag against the Trojans for uh, roughing the quarterback, or is this going to be an intentional ground? Let's see. Intentional grounding. Yeah, intentional grounding. Number two on the offense. Ohio State, how do you spot. do? He has to throw it. Pryor drops back to pass, out of the shotgun, winds up, throws long downfield. It's up in the air, and it is 
knocked away, incomplete. Trojans take over on down. The Trojans have won it here in Columbus, Ohio. They're coming off the sideline. And to congratulate each other first and then shake hands with the Ohio State Buckeyes, a team that we may very well see again when this season is all said and done. Matt Barkley won't let go of the game ball. He's walking off Keep with the one. ball. And out at the middle of the field, Keith Carroll and Jim Trestle shake hands and say good job, and maybe we'll see you again later on. Trojans come back to win it 18 to 15 here in Columbus, Ohio. What a night. <laughs> really shocked right now um, it's just an astonishing win for us and I mean that that 95 yard drive was probably one of the most unreal experiences I've ever had and man it was a great game man you know I, I can't say enough about our offensive line you know we, we fought the whole way and we just put on their shoulders at the end and we won Trojans in the fourth quarter coming back. Hey! 